Well, hello there. Today we're going to be talking about series circuits. Uh, here's still our equations. I always like to pop that up there in case you want to update. Our objectives for today is we're going to be really doing the top one. We want to be able to calculate the equivalent resistance for a circuit of resistors in series and find the current in potential difference across each resistor in the circuit. Um, for series circuits. Well, these are some of our rules for resistors in series circuits. Um, a series circuit describes two or more components of a circuit that provide a single path for current. It's like a river, all right? And imagine this river that has no branches that come off it. So this river is going to go straight down And never is there any branches that are coming off this. All right. So the water or the current, the electrons, are going to be the same no matter where you're at in this series circuit. There's not going to be any branches or any streams, any brooks, anything that, that come off of this. Uh, no creeks or anything. The water you have up here at the top is going to be the same amount of water you have here at the bottom. In our circuits, the amount of current that you have here at the top, or elect electrons, are going to be the same amount of electrons you have down here at the bottom. Um, the equivalent resistance can be used to find the current in a circuit. Uh, the equivalent resistance, or the total resistance, um, is what we're going to find sometimes used to find the total current. And here they're saying current, you're going to hear me quite often refer to total current in a circuit. This right here is important. Write this down. The equivalent resistance or the total resistance in a series circuit is the sum of the circuit's resistances. Sum meaning all we're going to do is add them up. It's just that simple. To find the RT, all right, I'm going to typically refer to it as RT, to find the total resistance, it's going to be adding these all up. I want to take a second here and show you that on the left we've got an actual example of a series circuit, meaning we have one path that these electrons can flow. All right, these electrons are going right through here like this one path. Over here on the left, I want you to notice that they've shown this is the schematic. Now, one thing we probably want to add is some circles here so that we know they're light bulbs, but realistically, it's still, they're still just resistors. We've got the battery the two light bulbs and it's a circular path here or one path the electricity can only go one way alright in a, in a series circuit what they're telling us here is that these two resistors resistor 1 and resistor 2 can be exchanged out uh, for one resistor that I'll call RT or the equivalent resistance or the total resistance and this circuit acts the same way so what that means is if this right here was a 5 ohm resistor and this was a 4 ohm resistor we could take both of those out and replace them with a 9 ohm resistor and the circuit is going to act the same way it's not going to be able to have any different any, it's not going to be able to tell any difference the other thing here is I'm going to label here and I'm going to put T's because I'll, ta I'll typically talk about the total resistance and the total current is um, our Ohm's law. You'll quite often see me show it like this. For a series circuit, we can use the total resistance and the total voltage to find the current. Okay, in this problem, they ask us to do two things. They ask us first find the equivalent resistance for the circuit. That's the first thing. Equivalent resistance meaning the total resistance. Well, that simply means I'm going to add them up. Equals 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7. 6, 11, 18 ohms. The second thing they asked me to do is find the current in the circuit. Well, that takes me back to my Ohm's Law equation. The 
the total voltage. Well, we have a 9 volt battery. My current, I do not know, but my total resistance is 18. So to solve this equation, I'm going to get divide both sides by 18. And the total current then turns out to be one half of an amp. Okay, series circuits. Resistors in series. Series circuits require all elements to conduct electricity. As seen, actually it's above, it shouldn't say below, it's above. A burned out filament in a string of bulbs has the same effect as an open switch because the circuit is no longer complete. There is no current. The electrons, you know, they're, they're sitting here. They can't get across this bridge. They, they don't have the ability to make that jump right there. So the electrons aren't able to flow. That's why a lot of times it's interesting we're doing talking about this at Christmas time. Christmas tree lights, especially older Christmas tree lights, when one light bulb went out, they all went out. And that was done for a couple of reasons. What I want you to do for tomorrow is two things. Okay, here's the two things I want you to do. First of all, I want you to tell me why Christmas tree lights were hooked up in series, even though people hated it. There was some reason that companies made them hooked up in series. One light went out, they all went out. But what was the reason? If they knew that was the case, what was the reason that they still did it for so many years and just recently have started switching that? The second thing I want you to do is I want you to find RT and IT. Find the total resistance for this circuit down here and find the total current. Hey, that's it for today. Tonight's notes are short. Tomorrow we'll talk about parallel circuits. I'll see you on the flip side.